What's up guys, DJ Goham here. Today I have a product spotlight for Massey Ferguson, the new generation tractors and harvesters and trailer. So let's take a look at these in the store. First up we have the 5600. You can put a front loader attacher on it. Engine setup, so you got the 5610, which is gonna give you 105 horsepower. 5613, which gives you 130 horsepower. And that's it. Wheel setups, you have standard and narrow tires. Next, we have the 7700. You can put a front loader on this one as well. Engine setups give you 7719, 210 horsepower. 7722 gives you 240 horsepower. And a 200, or a 7726 gives you 280 horsepower. Wheel setups, we have quite a few more. We have standard, wheel weights, Wide tires, narrow tires, rear twins. So quite a few choices there. And next we have the big boy, the Massey Ferguson 8700. Engine setups at 8727 gives you 300 horsepower. 8732 gives you 350 horsepower. 8737 gives you 400 horsepower. Wheel setups, we have five here as well. Standard wheel weights, wide tires, twin wheels, and rear twins. So pretty cool. On to our combine harvesters. We have the Activa 7347S. No options here, but you do have 306 horsepower and it'll hold 8,600 liters. Next, we have the Massey Ferguson Delta 9380. It's going to cost you $385,000. Uh, it's 496 horsepower and will hold 12,500 liters. You have three different headers for these. You have the free flow, free flow, free flow 25 foot, power flow 35 foot, and Dynaflex 40 foot. We also have the 4709. This came in the Platinum pack. You can put a front loader on this and we'll set up some standard or wide tires, and they are wide tires. No engine setups, but it still has 95 horsepower and sounds fantastic. We also have the Massey Ferguson 3012, which is, uh, what do you call this guy? It's a sugar beet trailer, basically, but you could do sugar beet, straw, silage, wood chips, chaff, grass, and hay with it as well. So, And it has a neat little trick, which I can't wait to show you. Um, some of these older ones we're going to show you in a different video. So let's head over. And let's check all these out individually. First up, we have the 4709. We have two different wheel setups for this. We have the standard wheels, which look pretty good, I think, on it. And we also have wide tires. Now, these wide tires are wide. You can definitely tell a difference between the two. And keep in mind, this is the only or the closest thing we're going to get to a compact tractor. I think compact tractors would be cool in FS19, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Next, we have the 7700. We only have two wheel setups for this as well. We have the standards, which I've got to tell you, look pretty chunky, um, at least compared to the narrow tires, the row crops. These do not look good on here, but they do the job, and that's what we need them to do. Next up, we have the 7700. We have the standard tires, which do look great. I love the sound of this tractor. We have the narrows. You got your wheel weights, which keeps the alloy color, which is very cool. Most of these turn black. So that looks awesome. We've got our wide tires, which are very wide look great and we have our rear twins very nice very very oh too close very nice <laughs> and last but not least as far as tractors go we have our 8700 the big boy we've gone for the 8727s the smallest engine You've got your regular tires, 
Got your wheel weights. Again, keeping this alloy color on the weight itself looks great. Wide tires, which look, I have to say, the best on this tractor. I think, of course, I think wide tires look the best on all the tractors. You got your rear twins. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good here, too. And last but not least, we have our duels, our all-around duels. 400 horsepower tractor. Well, not with this version, but this is a 300 horsepower version. But, man, this thing will pull. And over here, we have all the tractors that you can put front loaders on. We have the 4709. Looks pretty big on there. Those are the small arms, too. You got your 5600. These are also the small arms, same ones that are on that one. And you've got your 7700. We've gone for the larger ones here because we needed them. Looks mean. Looks like it's going to bite you. <laughs> Heading over here, we have our two combine harvesters. I believe this one. Yep, the 7347S. This is a smaller version of the two. I like this one because of the rear end. I like this little, little tushy, <laughs> if you will. Uh, stick it out right here. I think it just looks fantastic. It, it's a work of art. It really is. And we have our 9380. Beautiful tractors. The Delta. Beautiful. Beautiful. Is this a tractor? Combine harvester. Yeah. Okay. Over here, we have our trailers. Now, I've gone for the standard tires on this one. They do look wide. However, I'm going for the wide tires on this version. And they are wide. Yes, they are. You can also hook these together, so you can put as many of these trailers as you would like in a row. Um, I would say maybe do two or three, because they can get a little wild. And let me show you how wild we can get here. So, these trailers have the ability to tip into a different trailer. So, you can raise, and then dump. So, all of your sugar cane, straw, silage, wood chips, chaff, grass, and hay... Put these guys in here, and you are all set to go. How cool is that? That is just so cool. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and lastly, we have our headers that go on our combine harvesters. We have the free flow 25 foot, the power flow 35 foot, and the Dynaflex 40 foot. So, that being said, that's Massey Ferguson. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please drop a like. If you have not already, please subscribe because I'll be releasing, I be, I will be releasing these weekly two a week actually so we're gonna head out of here and i think you're gonna be doing the same so we'll see you later take it easy peace